is what's going on at Smash Bros. Weekly. <laughs> that felt good, Nebosh. It was good, man. It's good to be back. Viewers at home, welcome to another edition of Massive Joe's Weekly Word, episode 75, Nevosh. Three quarter century. Woo! We're almost up around 100, man. We're nearly. Isn't it? 75. It's good to be back. I gotta say, good to be back. It's, it's been, been like four weeks almost. Yeah, three or four weeks, who knows? Because we went, we did it before, the week before we left for TMJ in the USA, which I hope you guys enjoyed, because we sure as hell enjoyed making it. Yeah. And then we got back last week, we didn't have a chance to shoot last week, so it's got to be four weeks. Yeah, last week. It's got to be like a month. I've been getting We're going to change the name to Massive Joe's Monthly Word. That kind of flows better anyway. I've been getting hit up about it on all the social media channels. Yeah, me too. But before we get into it, it's not fresh. <laughs> it's so not fresh. I actually just before, like it's not looking bad. I think because because we've been because my man Robbie from Robbie's Chop Shop and I've been working on this for quite some time now. It's been a six month project. Well, it's a work. It's a it's not something. You it's can a just, work in progress. Well, it's not something that you can just go there and just request. You no, have, it has to. Be, it's, it has this to takes be, time. You got to commit to it. Yeah. And because we committed to it, even now when it grows out, it still looks relatively clean. No. But it's not fresh. And just before we sat down, Dilip came in and did the sound check for this weekly word. And I said, Dilip, can you please hit Robbie up and see if he can come to MJHQ on Monday and cut everyone's hair? Because your look, yours is looking scrabby. Yeah, it's not. Mine is f***ed. JB's, well, it, JB doesn't really need haircuts anymore, but it could be a little bit tighter, you know what I'm saying? Well, I got a 0.5 two weeks ago and it's f***ing grown out already. It's all the, <laughs> all the GH pumping around my body. It must be topics of discussion, Neve. Back in stock, new products coming soon, MTS Way update, monthly specials, Kai Green. Boom! Ask Neve. We got all kinds of content for you guys. First topic of discussion, Neve Voss. Uh, back in stock. Yeah. All right, so we've got a fair few back in stocks because it's been like, what, three weeks? Well, weeks. it's been a month, so yeah. we've got a lot of product news for uh, you guys, which I know, apart from Ask Neve, is the main reason you mother yeah. tune in, right? All right, so Core Pump, back in stock in both flavors. Boom. Zoom focus. Sour apple candy. Doesn't want to work. Pineapple strawberry. Uh, my personal favourite, T432 Plus. And with Core Pump coming back in stock as well, that means that the Extreme Pump stack, which is Core Pump plus Core Fury, is also back in stock. Yep. T432 Plus back in stock. Yep. Uh, Silly Core Way back in stock in both sizes and all flavors. And all flavors and new labels. Yep. Not across everything, they're starting to filter through new labels. And we've also got a monthly special on this month. You buy two of these bitches. For 99.95. You get 20% off and a free cellular core shirt. Mm -hmm. Mix and match flavors. Uh, Beyond Beast Soleil is back in the strawberry, uh, Kiwi Strawberry. Yeah, finally. That was out forever. Yep. Uh, Fury Extreme, I don't know why this wasn't the Daily Cure product, but Fury Yeah, that's Extreme. a bit strange, it's been kind of broken up a little bit. Back in stock in but both flavours, cool. uh, which also means the stack's all relative to this product are back in stock. The Crush It stack in particular, yep. with that and ABC. Pre-Gym? Yep. Back in stock in uh, all three flavours? All flavours, Raspberry Lemonade, Cherry Limeade and Orange Mango. Hyde V2? Yep. Back in stock in all flavors. I can't remember them because there's like 17 million. Apex Mail, back in stock, finally. Finally, with the improved uh, flavors, improved flavor profile on Apex. Exactly the same, but improved flavor because the pina, the original Pina Colada was the, that was the, 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 that was the original Apex Mail in the original Pina Colada was where the term devils are noos was actually created yeah. because we were thinking of a way to describe what this the original tasted like and we came up with devil's anus. And you are the, the uh, Mike Tyson of tongue punching, aren't you? <laughs> All right, so new products, Creation HMB Pure. Hold on, next topic of discussion, Neve. Creation HMB Pure. New products. Which is a HMB. Yeah, right, raw reviews obviously. drop on on that next week. I'm a, I'm a, HMB was one of the first supplements I ever used. I used protein creatine HMB yep. back when I was like 14 years old. Yep. And I'm happy that HMB has come back in a big way, man. Not natty. Big way. Not natty for 15 yeah. years now. Yeah, well. I suggest, well, yeah, stock. chocolate peanut butter is delicious. Vanilla is better. Okay. We tried that at the Olympia. Yeah. Yeah, vanilla was amazing. I might actually, I'm out of isolate. I need a new one. I might bust that open today. Function 2WO. Yep. BCAA, vegan Frank, BCAA. Frank Medrano's vegan BCAA for all of you vegan fanatics out there. And when I say vegan, uh, there'll be a raw review on it anyway. But when I say vegan is the, the actual BCAAs are derived from sunflower. 
So there's no animal products in there at all. I'd rather it's Frank, very unique. I'd rather Frank McGrath's be civilized, you know what I'm saying? No, Frank Medrano, man. No, I'd rather Have Frank, you seen Frank Medrano? I'd rather Frank You guys McGrath's. go YouTube Frank, Frank Medrano. I'd rather Dude Frank, is a freak. I would rather Frank McGrath's be civilized. Well, I think more people know who Frank Medrano is than Frank no, McGrath. They don't. No, they do. No, he's got like a billion YouTube subscribers. What, is he, does he do calisthenics? Yeah, he does. And he's amazing. Oh, and ZMA caps? Boom. Finally. Yeah, Finally. Until uh, we get shut down. HPN 3. Boom. All flavors, both flavors, natural fruit punch and natural peach mango. Uh, so core is now, core beta alanine. Yeah, that's cool. Beta alanine from core, no fillers, no flavors, nothing. Just 100% carnison beta. Is this, is this carnison, isn't it? Carnison beta, it is, right there. 100% carnison beta alanine. So you know you're getting the best beta alanine we've seen thus far. Dougie. The cool thing with that as well, sorry to interrupt, but we're doing two stacks and you save a bunch of money. You can get the... We've got two products here. The Core Fury Beta Alanine stacked together, mm -hmm. and then we've got. The pump. Where's, where's the pump? Where's the pump? The Core Pump Beta Alanine stack. So yeah. that's going to be like the complete stimulant free stack. And for you Beta Alanine freaks, would know that Core Fury Extreme ain't got no Beta Alanine, so you, you can get the stack and add it yourself. Yep. Uh, and Dynamic Muscle Gamma Ray. Oh, shit. Pump. That's the pre workout non stimulant pump supplement. There it is, right, it's right, it's right there. And Savage uh, Don't Oak, Savage Raw. I trained on those for the first time last night. People Pie that Greens. follow- Pie Massive, Green's new brand, just for those who aren't aware. Yeah, I think everyone is aware. Uh, but for those of you that follow Massive Joe's on Periscope would have seen the Raw Raw review straight after I trained on them last night and I was impressed. You were? I'm uh, very impressed. I didn't watch it because my Periscope's not letting me sign in. Really? I don't That's know. That's up. All right, coming soon. Next topic of discussion, Eve. Core Heart Extreme. Yes, in powdered form. We're talking the end of this month. Yep. That's what we're talking. Core MRP. Shit's going to blow up. And for those of you that are unaware, Core Heart Extreme anti-estrogen and cortisol inhibitor. Yep. For fellas and pushy cats. Yep. Core MRP. Yep. Should be the end of this, uh, no, start of next month. Uh, start, start of November. In all five flavors. Amazing. Delicious. Run everything, enter with purpose. Yep, Dana Lynn Bailey and Rob Bailey's new supplement. So enter with purpose is the pre-workout supplement. And show the world. And show the world is the pump supplement. Those should be here by the end of this month. And we have a sick. You do. Opening deal. Yep. And there may be some co-branded flag nor fail shirts. That's all I'm saying. MTS Clash new flavors. Australian first, because we ain't here to f spiders. MTS Clash new flavors. Yep. You know what they are? I've been using it. Tropical Punch, yeah, Fruit Punch, and Blue Raspberry. I've been using the Tropical They're Punch. They're gonna be here at the start of November as well. It tastes like Tropical Cordial for those that are... Yeah, it's, it's, I, I still prefer Pink Lemonade as nine, my number those, one uh, flavor. Those 90s kids. But I'd probably rank it above Apple Mango. Mm. Yeah. MTS Ruckus. Yep, start of November. MTS Way Key Lime Pie. And MTS, let me just, before you get on to that, MTS Ruckus is gonna blow the f up. You guys, I've, I've spoken on Periscope about it quite a bit as well. Yep. It's the start of November. It's 20 serves, high stimulant pre-workout supplement. We're looking at retailing it for 50 Australian dollars. Yep. Provided the exchange rate doesn't shit on our chest in the next month. So far it's going the right direction. It's coming in five flavors and it's, it, it, I don't even know what I'll say. No. What I will say is you can hop on massivejoes.com website and sign up for the preload. Yeah. Pop your email address in as soon as it drops, you get an email saying the shit is available. And you can do that with all products just so you know. Yeah. All right, uh, MTS Way update. Oh, hold on, no, you said MTS Way Key Lime Pie. Yeah, I did. Yeah, which is a good uh, segue, actually, into the, the next topic of discussion, Neem. Which is MTS Way update. So as you said... I love Weekly Word. Start on November. I love Weekly Word. I hate when you Weekly Word on my... Don't cut me off! Favorite <laughs> videos to shoot. That was a good, that was actually a good yell, wasn't it? That was good. That was very, um, it's a, no one will hear it because it'll get bleeped out because you swore oh, and called me a C-U-N-T, but apart from that, it was quite a, uh, quite a, quite a decent roar. I called you a C <laughs> next Tuesday, didn't I? <laughs> you did. All right. Anyway, what are we talking about? Uh, MTS Way update. So start of November. Yeah. Uh, the MTS Way shipment, well, the MTS shipment's coming. So that's got the MTS Key Lime Pie, which you and I tried at uh, a website, a yeah. place over in America. MTS Nutrition Headquarters. Yep. Yep. 
fucking hell, mate. <laughs> oh, do you God. Do you can beat that one out too? Do you know, just, just bleep the whole video out, mate. So oh, at yeah. MTS uh, HQ, yeah. we tried the key lime pie. And I was surprisingly impressed. I thought I, it was going to taste like shit. I thought it was going to I thought it was going to be Devil's Anus V2, but it's actually... The best way I can describe it, it I tastes like... I've, I was thinking I would have rather licked Joe's ring hole after the three-hour leg session at the gym, <laughs> just to be honest. It tastes like um, a citrus citrus tort. I think is what they could, you know those, those cakes that have like the crust yeah. and then like the citrus filling? Yeah. That's what it tastes like. It's good. It was or delicious. even probably lem lemon meringue with like, a, with like a crust to it. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. Uh, so you guys are really going to enjoy that. That's coming start in November with all of the other MTS flavors, except for Cinegram and Pumpkin Pie. They're going to be here about a month later at the start of December. Along with Machine ISO. Along with Machine ISO. Carb 10 is going to be here at the end of November. So that's going to be in between those two shipments. Uh, and the exclusive Australian flavor, you can tell them because Dill can just bleep it out. Yeah, is going to be here at the start of 2016. And it's going to change the way you guys think about protein supplementation. Yep. It's literally going to blow. I'm surprised no one's done it, to be honest. Well, everyone knows what it is because you've already put it up on, we've already put, you put it up on Instagram. Well, all no, the you lip put it up readers. On Snapchat. No, you put it up on, no, I, I closed my mouth when I said it. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> Next topic of discussion, Neve. Uh, monthly specials. Oh, Dilla, throw up the monthly specials, man, for the viewers at home. We got some sick monthly specials this October. Neve Vosh, your favourite? Uh, Biogro. Yeah, you love yourself, Biogro. My favourite is the Cellucor way. The buy two tubs, get 20% off, get the free shirt. Mix and match flavours. There's like uh, almost 100 flavour combinations. There's like 15 flavours and you can mix and match however f you want. Yeah. That's amazing. No. But you guys know where they're at. Check out Instagram, the front page of the website, or what Dill just threw up on the video. Monthly specials going off. Or the Next. Or the specials uh, tab on the website. Yeah, of course. Next topic of discussion, Neve. Kygrain content. Boom. You want to tell the viewers? I, I really don't know what it's about. Well, in, in, in conjunction with the launch of... Show the Dynamic muscle. Dynamic right muscle in Australia, the Savage Raw pre-workout and the Gamma Ray uh, non-stimulant pre-workout pump supplement. There's a bunch of Kai Green content that's just gone live on the MassageJoes.com website. So there's a full article that goes balls deep into why Kai Green was banned or if he was banned from the Olympia. Links in the description box to this so you guys can go check it out. But a full in-depth article. And it's, it's a very well written article. It was written by Jack Perry, our business development manager. He is definitely the brains of the business. Well, he produces some stellar content. And this content, it, it goes through all of the other content available and kind of consolidates it. So yeah. it's like the, it's, it's the fountain of truth for what's happened with Kai Green. Kid can write. Yeah, there's some articles on uh, aracholine hydrobromide as well, also known as Arcofuel, also known as betel nut extract, which is causing a lot of discussion in the supplement community at the moment, which is actually one of the ingredients in Savage Raw. A lot of butthurt nuts. There's just there's a, there's a lot there's a lot of shit going on. Links are in the description box. You guys go check them out. Next right. topic of discussion. Next. Ask Neve. All right, we've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got eight questions. Yeah. So you guys now we're, it's open, open for questions for Ask Neve because we've only got eight. We're gonna be done in five minutes. It's gonna be the shortest week you ever. So feel free to shoot through five questions each next week, and Dillard will just filter through them, and we'll have at least fifty questions. Yeah. Tyron Farrell wants to know, I'm wondering if you are hosting a training session or some type of meetup during or after the Sydney Fitness Expo in October. No, because we're not going to the Sydney Expo. I'm actually going to be in Melbourne with uh, Jake Nicolopoulos and Dilip, the acting specialist, yeah. shooting some footage. So no, we're not, sorry. No, we're not going to be there. George Rayner wants to know, if you do cardio after you train, should you have your protein shake before or after cardio? After cardio. That's the usual rule of thumb is, is train, take some Alka Fuel, Alka Pure, Alka Fuel, <laughs> Creation Supplements, Alka. We're, bo we're, both, we're both slightly retarded in this little, episode. It's rusty. been four weeks. A little bit, okay. rust, little bit rusty. Uh, like. Take your Creation Supplements, Alka Pure, about two grams, go do your cardio, and then have your protein shake or your meal post, post cardio, post workout. Yeah. Zachary Dallas wants to know hey guys, quick question about the importance of deadlifts. I work out at my university gym where powerlifting is very popular. The gym only has one deadlifting platform and four power racks, which are often taken for long periods of time. How important is deadlifting for overall strength and physique? If I want to deadlift, I often spend 30 to 45 minutes waiting for a spot. 
Um, I'm not going to say that's not going to be like a spotter. That's like yeah, an actual place to deadlift with. I'm just going to say because you can't spot deadlifts. I just, you know, this is going to be a smart ass answer. Yeah, and I love Neve smart ass answers. I don't. I don't mean any disrespect, Zachary. No, but you can actually deadlift outside of the rack. Yes. So you can take a bar and maybe just find an open space in the gym. Yeah. And step outside that rack. Yes. And deadlift. Step outside the square. Yeah. No, but the question actually is, uh, how important is deadlifting think, for overall strength and physique? I think they're the number one overall thickness builder, to be honest. You're, well, it's like- I'm a massive yeah. fan of it. I mean, you because, are. because I think that to build a powerful upper back, powerful traps, powerful rhomboids, powerful yeah. lower back, powerful glutes, Just hammies, power. Just thick, powerful muscle. Yeah. I think deadlifts are a must. Yeah. Bench, squat, and dead. There's a reason why they're the big three. Yeah. Um, Joseph is not much of a fan of them, but he still rack deadlifts. Yeah. I don't do full length deadlifts because my legs are too f long, yeah. but I still do but deadlifts. For overall rack. back thickness and just that muscle density, yeah. I think your, your deadlifts and your bent over barbell rows. Yeah are the two main exercises for that muscle thickness. I agree. Dev Bagani wants to know, welcome back fellas, or should, should I say mother in reference to the people's CEO's Periscope intro. Dev follows me on Periscope. He follows does. us on Periscope. Remember he snapped, his, he, snapped his, he snapped his back up when we are in America. Why has Dro dropped dextrose this early in his cut? Doesn't this contradict what you fellas have recommended as the ideal post-workout nutrition? Uh, when Joe cut, I'll answer this for you. Yeah, go for when it. you cut, you try and get your calories in from whole food sources. Yes, correct. And the carbohydrates in a powdered source mm. are not calorie dense. I can I can either get thirty gram. Let's say, let's say when I when I'm when I'm building muscle or when I'm not competing, I'll take like fifty grams of dextrose post workout. Mm. So I can get post workout fifty grams of carbs from fifty grams of dextrose in a drink, mm. or I can get fifty grams of carbs from 200 grams of brown rice yeah. or 50 grams of carbs from 300 grams of sweet potato because I'm in caloric deficit and I'm hungry all the f time yeah and you would back that up all I do is complain about how hungry I am yeah. at the moment you've had I prefer to get it from whole foods just because it's less calorically dense and it makes me feel fuller so yeah so year round obviously as a post-workout shake yeah dextrose your foundation so your post-workout stack yep is your optimal post-workout stack for muscle growth? But correct. when, but yeah, when and you're recovery. In, when you're in a calorie uh, calorie uh, deficit and you are very hungry, like the big hose is, yeah, then you want to be getting your food sources from yeah that that rice that's going to give you that uh, that fulfillment. Yeah. Say, say, say yeah, that's what I'm for. yeah, yeah, it makes you feel full. Yeah. Uh, Dylan Phillipson wants to know. Just wondering, what are your thoughts on Kai not competing in the Olympia this year? We did a video on it on our YouTube channel the day the news was released. So going back three weeks ago, you go check that out. That gives our full thoughts. Or click the link in the description box and there's the full write-up on it from business development manager, Jacked. Cliffs, I think it was to do with muscle meds. You do, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's the cliffs. Yeah, that's your cliffs. Lats on lats on lats on me back. Hey fellas, I recently took a week off training, but it was unplanned. My body felt like I needed it. I felt like shit not training though. Just wondering, what is the longest you fellas have left the iron and how did it feel? I just felt sad. How long, how long do you have off? Uh, I never take more than like three to four days off. Yeah. Probably three days is the absolute max I've had in a very long time. Yeah. I don't think you need to. Like, I remember back when I first started working uh, with you. Yeah. Before you. Yeah is you would take almost a full month of January off. Yeah, and I was just about to say that. I used to, going back a couple of years, I used to take a full month off every year. Mm. From full month off training, full month off sups, full month off dieting, just went back to being the normal human for a month. Yeah. And I can't do that anymore. No. no. Well, you made a lot, I'll be honest, you've made a lot better gains since you stopped doing that. Yeah, exactly. And now I, 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 don't, I don't take any time off. The most I've had off this past year was a week when I got the flu. Yeah. That was it. I think even when you're having a rest week, mm. I'd still rather go to the gym and do like a, uh, maybe an upper body and a lower body session, just light, just to still get some blood into the muscles. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, don't go 100%. Yeah. I'd still rather go to the gym and do like, 70% that's it then actually take a full week or whatever off s row 3 wants to know Nevosh and Joe both of you have built solid backs I personally I struggle to build an upper middle back 
around the middle trap area. Yeah. I play plenty of rugby, so my lower to medium back is built, and my rear delts and upper tracks are getting there. However, I lack this middle back area. Are there any exercises I should be doing to make some more gains up in that bitch? Not from England. It's probably one for you, mate. The two, middle, middle back. The two exercises I feel at most are yeah. deadlifts. As going back to my answer in the first question. The About first deadlifts. Question. Yeah. Also, seated, um, seated cable rows. Yeah, I'm a big fan of seated. Close grip seated cable rows because yeah. you can go nice and heavy. Yep. You can get a nice squeeze, mm -hmm. and yeah, you can just put a lot of weight through the through mm. the muscle. That's, yeah, that's going to develop some some big middle and, back. And obviously, sure. close close grip will yeah. hit the rhomboids. Yeah. And just like that, we're at the last question. Yeah. And it has to be from Barney Ong. Barnard. Barney wants to know, welcome back from the USA, my brothers. Barney, it's good to be back, man. Good to be back in Weekly Word answering the last question that belongs to you, my brother. Got a calves related question for you, surprisingly enough. When I train calves and abs once in a while, they always seem to cramp up. So much so that after the workout, they sometimes cramp up while I'm crossing the road and I worry I might die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get this cramping with any other body part. Is there any reason why only my calves and abs cramp up? Um, what is it to do with this? To do low cramping is low sodium, sodium or dehydration yeah. generally. Uh, uh, so, uh, why it would happen with those particular reasons? Uh, sorry, with those particular muscle groups, Barney, I think calves probably cramp up because you train them and then straight away you go use them again by walking. Yeah. So, you know, it's probably just overuse. In terms of abs, it could be a similar thing. You, you use your abs in every movement every day just to stabilize your core. Yeah. Just sitting here, we're using our abs. Yeah. So you train them and then you go into using them directly once again. And that's different to other muscle groups. Yeah. If you train chest, you don't go straight into using chest again unless you're starting to you know push something. And probably as you said, you don't, you're not training them all the time as well. Yeah. So they're not used to that. that heavy overload. Yeah. I would say that's probably the right answer. It's I an interesting, Barney always comes through with interesting questions. Barney, you don't need to train calves, mate. You've, Your you've calves hit, are phenomenal. You've hit the and I would, wouldn't be surprised if them abs are phenomenal as well, man. Might have turtle shells under there, you know what I'm saying? Abs, get kebabs. Nevosh. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? In this 20-minute episode of Weekly Word, the shortest ever. I'm impressed. Make sure you guys ask lots of questions next week, man. We only had eight this week. Oh, one thing. Stay That's tuned. like the whole weekly word. We should just change the name of this to Ask Neve. Yeah. Um, without Ask Neve, we ain't got no weekly word. I just want to say, stay tuned to the YouTube channel over the yeah. coming couple of weeks as yeah. well because we're still uh, it's starting to filter through a lot of the workouts that we've shot. So we've oh, really, the TMJ in the USA. Yeah, workouts. Because yeah. a lot of people have been hitting them up and hitting up on the Facebook and Instagram yeah. when are the workouts are getting released. They're getting released. No. Yeah. Do you have anything else you'd like to add before I tell the viewers? I subscribe button is in this video to hit the subscribe button subscribe to our youtube channel man start to date with all the latest editions of massa joe's weekly word and all the other deliciousness in our youtube channel where we're coming to and from me massa joe's.com stay